Good morning. Welcome back to another edition of Video Diary on the Farm. As you can see, we've got the combine in the background. Guards opened up. Got my suit on. Compressor. It's this time of year again. The muckiest job. Blowing it down, ready to get it to put it away, ready for winter. But it's one of those jobs that's got to be done. Get it all nice and clean. Get all blown, all the dust and crap blown off it. And then uh, you don't get any uh, little furry things living in it, hopefully. So uh, it's all good then. And then when the service it up, it's nice for them to work on. And they can see if there's any bearings or anything gone, belts chewed and all that. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a bad job to do, but it's a job worth doing. And it's worth doing well. So, uh, yeah, let's crack on with it. remember in my last uh, video the uh, said the challenger was uh, poorly and uh, we had to conclude rape drilling with the uh, fent anyway uh, we soon got our agco dealer onto it with peacock and binnington's at, uh, at brig and they were straight out to it and uh, after a bit of head scratching it uh, it was diagnosed what was happening it wouldn't steer it, or it was getting worse steering it would only steer a little bit at a time anyway they diagnosed the problem and um, it was the uh, hydraulic motor for the steering and uh, anyway I'll just turn the camera around and I'll show you about it that's the offending piece what's faulty it weighs about 61 kilograms that which is heavy anyway when they got it off they, uh, they found these bits of brass bush <laughs> bits of brass coming out of it so um, yeah, something's not right, so it wasn't good. And bits of filings as well. So, uh, so what they've done, besides order, uh, ordering a new hydraulic motor, they've uh, ordered a new hydraulic pump, uh, which uh, they're going to fit alongside that. And they've given it a full back end service. It's had all new oil in the system, and all new filters, as you can see, and uh, it should be good to go. The uh, pump should be here today and uh, the motor's already fitted so uh, it'll be up and running very shortly. Excellent service really from our local dealer. started we've uh, found where the ditch goes all the uh, tree stumps out the way along the route and, uh, we're heading where I think the old path of the ditch was so, uh, it's looking better already anyway so we'll uh, do a bit more we'll see before it rains this week maybe and, uh, get the water flowing. That looks a lot better now. We now have a dike through the middle. And uh, believe you me, it will carry some water in the winter, that dike. I'll come back and film it. But, uh, when it's in full flow.
We're out with a sprayer again this week, uh, spraying some more fields for cabbage stem flea beetle. It's an ongoing battle, but uh, we have to keep trying to save the crop. There we are, just thought I'd show you over to the right and uh, damage the uh, flea beetles uh, doing on it. There you go. You can see all the um, holes in the leaves. It, uh, sort of, they're older ones with the brown bits around them. And then you get uh, ones with no brown around them, they're fresh ones. Like, uh, well, they've been having a field day here and chewing on them. Uh, going to town, so we'll try and stop them. And if it gets going, it'll grow away from it. But uh, we just need some moisture now and uh, some warm weather, and it'll romp on. Yeah, the volunteers are starting to grow another week or so, and uh, well, maybe next week we'll be taking them out. Probably get a bit too much competition for the rain, but. Uh, the rape seems to established well using this method we've used this year. Suck the remaining liquid fert out of the tank into the sprayer. Now I'm just going to spray it onto the oilseed rape what we've drilled with the subsoil on the back of the fence. So, see how sticky it is. We've had a bit of rain this morning, not too much, it'll soak in. That shower we've had overnight, we've had another four or five mil in the night. It's done some good. The rape. Getting in a bit now. Yeah, that'll make it grow. Yeah, a bit sticky. Picked up on the tyres, but uh, not too bad before. Yeah, the line works as long as uh, the rest of it's working. Look at this, he's top man. He's our John. He's washing my combine for me. He's doing a bloody good job, that. And before you say, he wanted to do it, really. Only having to buy him a bar meal, so it's cheap, I think. Now, nah, he's top man. Wintering and fields, I can't afford that on my wage. <laughs> Back on the digger, and uh, we're just doing another small dike. We'll run through the trees, what's all been filled in. But, uh, it's getting there steady. We're about cleaned up anyway, ready for a few big bonfires. We're going to guide back a bit, finish the job off, and then hopefully uh, it'll stay dry after doing all these ditches. John's done a superb job. Always looks like new now. What you got to do now, John, on it? What you got to finish? Cab. Hey, good man. Are you going to valet me cab? Well, it's clean, but it just wants dust blowing off it. Yeah, slightly cleaner. Slightly cleaner, yeah. Well, you've done a good job there. It looks spot on, that. Thank you very much. Look at this for a compact tractor. In kit form. This one sold to our estate. Work at Elsham Park. Got a nice little front end loader to fit. I'll show you that outside in a minute. But uh, must have come on a ship, all in a container, all ready to assemble. Apparently, a lot come like this now, smaller ones. Here's the front loader for that little tractor. It does look small when it's not on. But, uh, and the bucket on top. Little dirt bucket and then there's again a bigger one for bulk stuff. And that, but, uh, yeah, it's going to be a tidy little setup when it's all uh, rigged up and it's on the job. 
show you it when it's all done. At the minute, we have a big problem with uh, fly tippers on our land, especially we've been near to uh, Scunthorpe. Um, we're getting a lot of uh, fly tippers coming and dumping in field entrances, but they're also getting clever and backing down tracks uh, off the main roads and dumping. And we've had several do that, so it must be maybe the same person. So uh, we're just having a go this afternoon and doing what we can to uh, to stop them. All we can do is try. This feels a particular favourite. They go into in between them trees, come off the main road, and uh, drive down and dump. Put down. So what we're on we're doing? Concrete blocks in, all so far in. Then we're putting a gate across. Uh, we've barricaded it off before, but the beggars have shifted the, the uh, barricade to get in. So uh, we're trying to make it more permanent this time. Just putting the finishing touches to it. I wonder if it will stop them. All these concrete blocks. Hopefully, should keep uh, unwanted guests out. Him. Spot on, John. Well, that's buggered it. Out spraying the cabbage stem flea beetle. The battle continues, but. Uh, as you can see, it's persisting in down. Well, we rain stop in play. That's about it for uh, this week's uh, video diary on the farm. I uh, hope you enjoyed what you've seen. Uh, in a bit of a varied week, doing bits and pieces. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. And if you have done, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>